Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're going to be checking out a pretty special deck. I saw a list in my Discord channel and I decided to yoink it and wanted to tweak the deck a little bit to suit my liking. And I think it actually turned out pretty well. So this is, well, I'm not even really sure what to call it. It is a hybrid between a Death Shadow and a Reanimator, but it is also a combo deck at the same time with Jace Reawakened. So you might be asking, what is Jace Reawakened doing here? So this is a new Planeswalker from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It's a pretty interesting Planeswalker that I actually incorporated into a mill deck last time. I actually fairly enjoyed playing with it last time when I was playing with mill because it gave huge tempo swings when you could actually play a bunch of mill cards together. And since mana is limited, if you cast multiple mill cards together, that are zero mana cards while you're holding up counter spells as well. One of those mill cards are gonna get through, right? So that's kind of the idea with Jace Reawakened. It just brings huge tempo swings when you can cast a bunch of zero mana cards or even just one. Like for example, in this deck, we have Sauron's Ransom. You can make it into a zero mana card. You also have Orcish Bowmasters, Demonic Tutors, Brainstorm, Reanimate, Thought Seizes. So if you can make these into a zero mana card and then for the future turns have multiple counter spells as a backup, that's when Jace kind of shines. But if that is the only thing that we're playing, I wouldn't even play Jace to begin with. We do have a pretty special card along with Jace Reawakened and that is Valky God of Lies. Yes, Jace makes cards with mana value 3 or less into a zero mana card. But if you pair that card up with Valky God of Lies, you can cast the backside, which is a 7 mana Planeswalker for 0 mana as well. So that's kind of the idea. We have one copy of Valky in the deck. Obviously, Valky isn't particularly a great card by itself. So we're only playing one copy in the deck. And we're also playing a copy of a Demonic Tutor. So you can search the Valky. So that's the combo portion. But we also have the Reanimator plan with Troll of Kaza Doom, Swamp Cycling into the Graveyard, and then we can reanimate as early as turn two. That could also potentially win the game as well, but because the reanimate lowering our life total, that actually synergizes pretty well with Death Shadow as well. What I'm kind of worried about is I'm actually going to be trying 16 lands with this deck, but along with Brainstorm, three copies of Lauren Revealed, and four copies of Troll of Kaza Doom, I don't think we should have an issue but if we do, I'll probably add some lands into the deck after some matches. So having said that, I'm going to be hopping over to some Timeless Best of 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop over. Alright. Alrighty. Honestly, this hand looks kind of man, but yeah, it's pretty bad. This hand that didn't have a Fatal Push, I don't think I would have actually kept this one. Okay, um, what it put hill? I don't know what that means. They don't have a companion, so. Um, I think I just go island into just getting all the basics down as soon as possible. Yeah, whenever I see a what it put hill coming down on turn one. Oh, it's Grixis. Okay. They might think I have a Brainstorm now. They might not actually play anything. And hold up uh, Bowmaster. Bowmaster was a fantastic draw. Very, very nice. Seems like they have a Brainstorm. Or it could be a Bolt as well. Five colors. Oh, I see. Okay, um, this is kind of terrifying because they could have a common deer. Right? And currently, I don't have anything like. I don't have a counter spell. Which isn't good. So 
Soren's Ransom. Wow, I... This is crazy. On one hand, it's actually kind of cool seeing... Being on the receiving end of, uh, of the Beanstalk. But we're getting wrecked. Yeah? We're getting wrecked here. Uh, to be fair, we had a pretty awful hand going into this matchup. Uh-oh. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. I think a little merriment is in order. Okay. So I want to probably Soren's Ransom now. So if if they have a mana drain, like they waste it. On their second main phase. Maybe I should have actually waited for their um, combat phase. Yeah, this is not good. I will say this is very not good. Okay. Quite the nibble. We finally found our mana drain. I think these fatal pushes are going to be pretty important. Um, I think I'm playing Jace here with the mana drain, perhaps. So I guess I'm um, putting these two in. Step out of the shadows. Okay, um I'm always that sound is so loud. Okay, we have a fat mana drain coming. We have a Lauren revealed as well. Oh my god. Stop. Do you really have uh, two blue cars in your hand? Do you? And you have a stifle? So these two are blue cards? Oh dear. I much well that is so annoying if they have um there's no way these are two blue cars, right? There's just no way. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> okay, well, if you have uh, two blue cars in your hand, I can't do anything about it. Okay. You did have two blue cars in it. Oh my god, their hand is insane. <laughs> Oh, man. What is this? 
This is actually insane. I mean, I will say that was a pretty good turn. Crazy that they didn't block. I already played a land. You're a tricksy one. I think I give them a turn with Uro. Let's see what happens here. It's not poison. Trust me. Well, my opponent is loving this, right? Like, they have a beanstalk. They have an Uro down. I, th I think opponent misplayed a little bit there. Um, if they were going to do that, they should have attacked first. To see if they get a counter spell or something. Okay. Oh no. What is this? Huh. I see how it is. Okay, we're casting Tybalt. No way. So we can't cast this, right? It's so nasty. It's actually so nasty. Oh my god, they're drawing so many cards. Maybe I should have plussed. Okay. Are they gonna bounce the ley line? Don't worry, I got this. Let's see what we get first. Sure, you can These aren't it. Game. Oh man, they have another commandeer. Oh my god. This is insane. Okay, it's not. Um, I'll choose the Jace. So they didn't have it before. Maybe I'm supposed to thought seize. Oh, we don't have um Mystic Sanctuary anymore. Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, so we have to get rid of uh, Leyline Binding, right? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Another up the beanstalk. They're gonna draw so many cards. We might actually win through opponent milling. OK, 
Okay. Um, let us discard first. Okay, one stifle gone. They're drawing so many cards. 17 cards to 26. How do they fit all these in? I'm actually kind of uh, surprised. Is the only counter spell they're playing Mana Drain? Um, it could be actually triple beanstalks in like they're going to have such a terrible time casting some of these cars because it's going to draw them so many cars now. Bowmaster, you don't say. So they discarded a Supreme Verdict. They let those in. Okay, well done, well done. I think they might actually sacrifice their the fairy for the leyline binding here. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Uh, I don't I don't think um I don't think we're gonna actually win through milling. This is such a terrible matchup. I invite you to change your ways. Because they don't have any creatures. Now let me have my fun. So like Tybalt, you know, is supposed to be technically good, but they just have so many card advantage. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, apparently that whatever they got is really, really good. Reanimate. Maybe I should have reanimated first. They also play. Ca I'm not actually sure how they put all these cars in. Four stifles, more than one Uro with Supreme Verdict, and four Mana Drain, and potentially four Counter Spells. And this is more than one Oko as well. How do they fit these in? That's so insane, actually. Forget you ever saw it. Now, in the deluge of my I mean, they just drew so many cars. I wouldn't be surprised if they had um another counter spell. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Hold on to that. Since I could get another Jace and discard this. Actually, they might lose if they binding though. They're drawing four cards if they bounce the Leyline binding with the Teferi. And they just drew another card. 
That's five cards remaining if they bounce the Leyline Binding. Mm, this one's going to be a pretty close game. This one's going to be a pretty close game. Also, if I get... um, If I just get a Bowmaster, I could kill the Teferi. Which could be relevant, actually. I actually don't have any lands to fetch with the uh, with these cards. You know, maybe plusing with Tybalt was actually the better plan. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm taking just so much damage if I did that, though. Okay, well that's a good sign. Wait, what? Just give me life. Just make two. Three threes, what? <laughs> Six cars remaining. So if they cast Leyline Binding, that's additional three cards. No, this is a I close game. We still haven't seen uh, two fatal pushes, by the way. How are we drawing lands? There's only two lands left in the deck. <laughs> There's only two lands left in the deck. Oh. And reanimate. So Mana Drain is completely dead. I mean, I do actually have a fetch, but I could get um, another Brainstorm later. Uh, let's Fatal Push first. Uh, let's just reanimate Orcish. Bowmaster. Wow, what a game. I think what op my opponent's trying to do is uh, they're gonna try to win with um, time warps together. How did we win that? How? How? <laughs> okay, pitting needles in. Although it's not very good, is it, right? Because Teferi can bounce the Pitting Needle. Oko can get rid of the Pitting Needle. I guess we'll have to see... Like, they played two Teferis. Two Okos. Hmm. I'm not sure if Pitting Needle is actually the way to go, actually. Drown is interesting. Just bring some Causalex. Spell Pierce. Maybe Surgical, even. Wow, that was... The doozy of a game. So yeah, about that sideboarding. What do we take out? I guess going down on troll doesn't make sense. God, I'm not even sure if taking out fatal push is even good. But I guess it's like the card to cut, right? Go down on a copy of reanimate. Yeah, reanimate's probably not going to be as good game two and three. As I say that, the problem is they have commandeer, right? So... If we try to reanimate the troll, they're gonna steal it. That's really bad. Maybe I should have just taken out all the reanimates. What an insane game one. 13 minutes left, 12 minutes left. We'll see.
Nice. Um, I guess thought seizing here is actually pretty good because they they would have to have a, exactly Oko and Commandeer and two blue spells to counter this. Okay, so they have a binding. Let's just take out Oko because that's the most problematic card. And can they binding here? They can. If I reanimate, I guess I can go Death Shadow, leave up a Drown. I guess that's something I can do. So this is like not even technically bad. It's only really, really bad if they draw into a 3-mana Planeswalker. Okay, up the Beanstalk was also pretty bad as well. Wow. At least now we got Bowmaster plus Drown. That's something. They didn't cycle. They must have something. Do I want to shock this in and deal 3 additional damage? Okay, we need to play more Watery Graves. That's something I noticed, actually. Darn. They got me. Another binding off the top. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They're really not... They don't want to play their lore and revealed. Like, are they not stuck on mana? Soars again. Go drown. I think we'll just uh, mana drain this. of summer this mana drains uh was a little bit wasteful but hopefully these uh orcish bowmasters can get there nice Uh, what do they have? It's definitely like... A stifle? How good is a stifle here? I think we take the commandeer. The Teferi doesn't do it. Um, Oko doesn't do it. Wow. Great game. Great game. That was insane. Um... 
not my favorite, but... Oh yeah, I forgot to add the mana. I wanted to add one more... One more watery graves. I'm so bad. Oh no. Field of the dead. This is not good. How many creatures are you gonna play? Well, you milled. Wait, that's good. Yes, mill. My Drown of the Lock is now online. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, I'll take the Brainstorm, please. Sure. What does this do? Return all lands from graveyard to the battlefield. There's three lands in the graveyard, so... I have to kill this. Yeah, I think I have to kill that. <laughs> uh, let's brainstorm first. We have a reanimate. So I guess I'm playing the island cycle troll. I can't reanimate here, unfortunately, because I have to kill the ana analyst, because otherwise I think I'm just going to lose. Yeah, interesting spot here. I want to keep the Death Shadow. I don't think I need Lauren Revealed. Yeah, I don't think I need these Lauren Revealeds. Yeah, that thing is too menacing. Wow. I was hoping that um, they didn't have a primeval titan. So how do we win? <laughs> How do we win? Yeah, I, I don't really see a way. Yeah, we can't kill the Titan. Ah, oh, man. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Playing Primeval Titan deck. Take out all the Fatal Pushes. Surgical might be pretty nice. Thought season to a Surgical, right? Let's also bring some Harvester of Misery. Go down on Jace. And uh, Loring Revealed. Bowmaster's okay. I think I'd rather have everything else. Okay, we got Thoughtseize. Everything else is kind of stinky though. Maybe we'll be able to get the, the Shadow out as fast as possible. Ooh, Mulligating 2. And I have a Thoughtseize. That's not the best thought season that I've done. And also, they have Cavern of Souls again. Unbelievable. We got the Surgical, but not really anything to Surgical, honestly. I guess if I Surgical... I can play out Death Shadow. I take 3, 4, 5. Yeah, may maybe it's actually not that bad. It's a bit of a waste though, if I do it. I think I'll just do it on... their draw step. Spelunking. 
Well, they were about to draw a Titan, though, so that's... I guess bullets dodged. I think I'm just gonna Sauron's Ransom next turn. Another one. Okay. Don't kill me, please. The mana drain's pretty useless, right, at the moment. Valky. We're missing the other combo piece. I could get another surgical, but I'm not sure what, what that does. Oh, maybe they have a Titan in their hand. Oh my god, they have natural order as well. Are you serious? Okay, there's just no winning. Yeah, there's just no winning. Yeah, bad matchup. I mean, at least we got all these Death Shadows. Yeah, we really need um, another Watery Graves. Because right now I don't, I don't have a Shock Lens anymore. Yeah, we just... Unless, right? Unless we draw exactly Harvester of Misery. Okay. We actually have a chance. Harvester of Misery? We have a chance. Oh, but this one, they, they, get, they get it back, though. We actually got it. We actually got it. Unfortunately, if I... I Now now I really regret using this uh, Surgical, right? Because if, if I held on to the Surgical, I play Harvester. Um, get rid of a Primeval Titan and we'll be good to go. But, yep, this one says, enters the battlefield, all other creatures, so including our own. So, very unfortunate. Super bad matchup. I, I don't have any cyborg prepared for this um, deck because nobody plays this deck anymore. Okay. Turn to reanimate. Super nice. Swamp? I keep forgetting to add more watery graves. I'm so sad. I'll do it on their turn. Maybe they counter the brainstorm. Then we can uh, play and play Jace now. Another reanimate. Another reanimate. Bowmaster is pretty nice. Mm. 
Mystic Sanctuary. Um, I could flash in Bowmaster here. So maybe they counter and then we can Jace. Nice. We can also reanimate as well, which is nice. That's a lot of Snapcaster Mages. Uh, we have a reanimate. I'm kind of afraid of dying at the moment. Lorraine revealed. Not what I'm looking for at the moment. Another troll? That's really nice if they... I have a swords, actually. They should have still... I feel like they should have flashed in those... Uh, Snapcaster mages. Maybe they can block the troll. Triple block. Nice. I think we won. Very nice. Um, drown, surgical, spell snare, spell pierce, cause a lek, go. Way too many, way too many cards. Okay, I mean, let's uh sort these out. Um, reanimate, not very good. Honestly, they might have like rest in peace and stuff. The good part is, like, Jace can ditch these. What are the cards that we're removing? Maybe, like, a copy of a troll. Lauren revealed. Maybe Kozilek is a bit much. Yeah, maybe Kozilek is a bit much. There's still seven cards I need to get rid of? What is this? Oh, yeah, Fatal Push. Maybe three Surgical is a bit much. Let's go down on two Reanimates. Am I wrong when I cut reanimates? Like, I've never played with the card before. Like, I'm not in entirely sure. Okay, so... Spell Snare. What a card. Nice. They drew a brainstorm. Interesting they tapped out. I wouldn't have tapped out. We know that they got a mana snare, so Bowmaster is just insane, right? I'll protect you. you. Want me to phase you out of time? I think we just uh, go demonic tutor for another thought seize. Got time. I guess we can go Thought Seize, and if they counter, we can Jace. And if not, we, um, if that doesn't work, 
They do have a spell snare though. I gotta watch out for that. Actually, I mean... That's fine. <clears throat> I just want to keep attacking the fairy here. Wow. Insane. Did I play a land last turn? I don't think I did. Wow. Tapping out. <laughs> Ley line of sanctity. Let's see what they were protecting, actually. I'm curious. Aegis? If there's no creature, this is useless. It's a overcosted equipment. I think a source is probably the card to go. Do I want to give them a potential... I'll just uh, Sauron's Ransom now. Control plus reanimate. I can reanimate and have the drown. Wow. They. <laughs> okay, I, I, I like their plan. I like their plan. I, I like what they did there. Nice. Let's mana drain that. It could be a snap cast for mage. Ow. That shadow. See what they do. So, how one, two, three? So, they can't animate and use the map token. Very nice. Okay, so another completely new archetype with this set. It's pretty exciting, honestly. There's just so many different decks you can play now in Timeless. It's actually insane. So, um, this version of the deck. So, um, this is like a, a little bit of a hybrid between a Death Shadow deck and a reanimator and at the same time we also have a combo package with Valky and Jace. We actually saw the Tybalt once which did eventually won us the game but I didn't feel like it was actually too impactful whenever I got the Tybalt combo down because I was playing against the deck with a bunch of Bladeline Bindings but we were able to get into a situation like where if they casted Leyline Binding where opponent already used three copies of Bindings already and if they use another binding, they would have milled out and lost the game. Match one, it was okay. Match two, we played against Field of the Dead, where this card was just completely dead, right? And we actually got into a situation where Valky stole their Titan, but we sideboarded in a Harvester of Misery. And we got into a situation where if we top deck this, we do live a turn, 
getting rid of all the zombies, but it does also kill the Valky that stole the stole the giant. But that's honestly um a player mistake on my part, but I didn't really think that far ahead. But I think we would have actually lost anyways because they already had like three Field of the Dead down. Yeah, that's uh we don't really have the cyborg prepared to fight against the Field of the Dead because it's not really a deck that is popular. And it's not like we don't have the answers either. We have Thought Seeds into Surgical Extraction. So that's something you can do. It's just that um, I in that game, I actually Surgical Extraction the wrong target. Other things to mention, I think the Jace, even without Valky, is really good. Uh, you can plus one, make Soren's Ransom into a zero mana cord, make Bowmasters into a zero mana cord, Tutors, Valky, um, Brainstorm, Thoughtseize, things like that. So the plotting is better than you think until you actually play the games with it. It's, it's hard to explain how big of an advantage the tempo can bring. Also, the looting ability has been actually pretty nice, especially in a deck with reanimates, right? I also ulted with the Jace as well, which was pretty sick. The fact that this card only pluses and not minus, you can get to the minus six pretty easily. If I were to change anything about the deck, it's probably the mana base. So here's the um, conundrum. We're playing Death Shadow. We're playing Brainstorm. So I want at least 8 copies of Fetchlands. But if I have 8 copies of Fetchlands, it's hard to fit in more Watery Graves. Or I was even thinking maybe a copy of a Blood Crypt for the Valky, right? So I want to put a copy of a Blood Crypt here somehow. Or maybe not Blood Crypt because we have um, a Flooded Strand. So maybe not that. And maybe Steam Vent. Just so that we can cast our Valky. But if we want to do that, what do we take out? We can't take out the Islands. We can't take out the two copies of Mystic Sanctuary. We can't take out a Swamp. That leaves a copy of a Surveil Land. So do you want a Surveil Land or a copy of a Steam Vent? Right? And I think the answer is the Sewers. That's, so that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. It's a pretty tight um, land base because we're only playing 16 lands. After watching some of the games that I played, do, do you think I had any trouble with lands? I think I, I made a land drop every single turn. So like with the power of Brainstorm, Troll of Cause of Doom, and Loren Revealed. No issue having a land drop every single turn. So maybe like you can cut a Loring Revealed, go up on a land to a 17 land. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Get creative with the stack. So with that said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye.